Hi, it's Madeline, and today I'm going to be discussing book covers. I think covers are very important from a marketing standpoint. Covers that would draw the uh, buyers in. You want them to see the cover and be interested in it. You want them to pick it up and ultimately buy the book. If you were in a bookstore and you saw these two books and you knew nothing about either of them and you were forced to choose between which book, which book would you choose? I would most likely choose The Winner's Cry. Just everything about this cover is um, really great and I really, really like the covers for The Winner's uh, trilogy by Marie Witoski, so props to anyone to the person who designed them. This, on the other hand, these books, the UK edition of Heroes of Olympus, all the covers are kind of really suckish and they're just, they're not very appealing. The typography is okay, like it's not, it doesn't really stand out or anything. Um, the picture, just the pictures on the front, the way it's edited and the way it's Put together and just the pictures themselves are not done very well like this is just it doesn't want to make me it didn't draw me it doesn't want to make me buy the book so as i mentioned before i love the covers for the winner's trilogy the first two books that are out so far are the winner's curse and the winner's crime and i love both of these covers uh the typography is great the detail in the dress work and um in the blades like that she's holding and on the letters like on the r here and then you have it on the M and I just, they're really well done. And then even in the background, you have like these wooden planks. I don't know if you can see that. And on this one, it's uh, these intricately done tiles and you can kind of see that. Another great example of typography is The Kiss of Deception by Marie, Mary E. Pearson. And if you can see, you've got lots of great detail around the letters. You have all this and that's really great. That's what really made the cover for me. Some of the covers I like are the Shatter Me trilogy covers. These are really pretty. You have the eyes. So you have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me. And um, I'm not really sure what the eyes are for. That's kind of the pro one problem I have with them. They're completely beautiful. I like how like inside the font you kind of have all these different colors and whatnot. And I like how just like I like the detail around the eyes and everything but I don't really understand the eyes like do they represent something in the book because there wasn't really I don't know if you know anything about that leave it down below in the comments like, if you think the eyes represent something uh let me know but I don't really know they're great they draw you ink it's unique and it's very well done now the cover is for the selection series so you have the selection the elite and the one, uh, the air just came out and I don't have it. So um, that cover is also beautiful. It's along the same lines. It goes, it fits with the theme of the other, the first three books. But um, I know a lot of books kind of have like random girls with dresses in them. And typically I don't like this, but uh, this one is done really well just because it fits with the theme of the storyline. Like, I like these covers, even though they're kind of girly, but you know, whatever. The Throne of Glass book covers are also great. They represent the book really well. We have the first one, Throne of Glass, and it has our main character, Selena Sardathian on it with like her blades and everything because like she's an assassin. So I think it represents it well and it looks pretty cool. And then we have Kind of Midnight, even more awesomeness. I just, these covers are great. And then Air of Fire, even better. I just, they're really great. Because I, I like how they have this on the back as well. Because like Selena is like a really, um, kick butt character and then but she also likes to wear dresses and everything so like how they incorporated that into the covers I just have a few more covers here for you i don't want to make this video too long but i like the simplicity of the fault in our stars um this i love the color the color is really bright um and it draws you in the typography is awesome i the even this is kind of even though it's like a sticker i think it really the color really works well and they made it look like it was supposed to be there and i like how the typography at the bottom kind of like goes around the bubbles and i really i really like this cover because it's so simple and then we have the more than this by patrick ness cover 
And I just love, like, again, this is pretty simple. I like how they have kind of like the plaid checker thing with the uh, bright um, yellow right there, and that's really great. I really love that. And then I have some more contemporaries. I have Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. This one really represents what the book's about. I love the two different types of typography. You have this, like, here, and then you have this more, like, swirly one here, and then also on the back you have another scene that's going on. And another one I really like, this one is also fairly simple. I like Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. It, again, it represents the book fairly well. Um, I love how we have kind of like these cartoon characters and we have Kath on her computer and Levi and the Simon Snow fanfic is kind of represented in here. So I really like that and the typography is pretty cool too and I like how she's like sitting on the A. I really like that. But you know, anyways, moving on. Luckily, I don't have too many covers that are extremely ugly. I just kind of have the Heroes of Olympus and you know, they, they're just not done very well the way they're edited and just kind of like oversaturated. One thing I absolutely hate when it comes to covers is when they don't match um, or when you get like a different edition. So I used to live in Canada and now I've moved to Southeast Asia. So we have a mix of UK covers and the US covers um, here in Southeast Asia. Canada, it was just like the US Canadian covers and here they're all over the place. So um, I have the I Am Number 4 series. This is the UK edition and I did not know uh, that they had the American edition over here. I went to another bookstore after I had bought this and I saw it there and I was so mad at myself with it because I wanted to buy this like pretty much right when it came out because I want to keep up with the series um, and they just don't match. Like on my bookshelf, like okay, the hardcover is taller than the paperback obviously, but this paperback is taller than the hardback. And it doesn't match. It has, uh, what's with the lizards? They're, they, let me tell you, this book has nothing to do with lizards. I don't even understand what is going on here. The thing I liked about these books was that it had like Lorian legacies written on the side, which is really cool. And then this is just, like I mentioned before, I love it when the cover reflects what is inside the book. And honestly, I think that should always be the case because that's what you want readers to think your book is about. And I think it should be a great representation of what is in the book. So if you have like an awesome book, for example, these books are amazing and fabulous. And then the covers kind of suck and you get less buyers because of that. And I just, I don't understand why you make horrible covers for amazing books or covers that don't relate to the book. And I just don't understand that. So like a lot of covers have just like, random girls faces plastered on for no apparent reason like i said the selection works girl in a dress that's fine it fits with the story but most of the time it doesn't and i'm just like why like i'm expecting way more from professionals i thought you could put out better covers i don't even understand how you think these are good so that is everything i have to say about covers today let me know down below in the comments what some of your favorite covers are um, I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!